who are currently leading by two goals to nil. And as we suspected after just five minutes and over the course of the game, they... So, early opportunity for the visiting side, not taken as Kune comes out trumps. Meanwhile, Edward uh, Maova, the Namibian international, comes out and grabs possession on the opposite side, but his distribution is uh, seeing the ball back with Chiefs. Bacchus into the path of Nurkovic. Not forgetting even Itu Kune with his distribution in oh, goals. Superb, and he's back today for only the fourth time since December 2018. So in 14 months, only his fourth game. Great chance here, a ball stroke to no any possession. He's won the opportunity to take the throw as well and looks to Bacchus in the midfield. Bacchus looking for Manyama, who has been directly involved. Streaks forward, flicks the pass out to Castro on the near side. Nurkovic making a charging run toward the back post. Instead, flicks it in towards Maluleka. Brilliant run, wonderful control. And this is remarkable how significantly the uh, personnel has changed at the club. Delivery over the top here, and it's a, a bit of a scramble to keep it in play, but a remarkable effort from um, Dooley, another player who shot to prominence at the Kune, inside of his area. In fact, only his fourth competitive match since the 1st of December 2018. It's been an injury ravaged uh, last 15 months for Dooley Kune. There hasn't been smooth sailing for him. So now he has to cement his place again from Akte. Maniaba. Isn't the idea? So only playing <laughs> up. Because now you are afraid to make that tackle, thinking you might go back to rehab again. So that's where the mental strength comes in. From the corner. Played uh, a little short, a little bit of a scramble potentially. Castro's picked up on it here. Looks to get the shot in. No, can't get it in here and not recovered either. So, James Mayinga, what you've seen in this opening 45 minutes? So far, Real Eagles has done well. But... So, we won't have a situation of uh, Kizza playing Kizza in today's tie. I'll tell you why in a moment. That I suggest was probably more of an attempt to cross into that danger area. But James Mayinga, this uh, double substitution in Parker and Billiard. It's good to see uh, Billiard back indeed. But how will it affect the structure, do you think, of Kaiser Chiefs, given the, is it the Ugandan <laughs> international sitting on the bench for Royal Eagles today? But with Bacchus being substituted off, as uh, Billiard made his way on, means we won't see that potentially play out today. Malulega space in the center circle a delightful pass billiard now back into the fray teases up and again moreover makes this we need to commend the tactical discipline of royal eagles players more special when they don't have the ball they get behind the ball have the first line of defense second line and that makes it it's not a big on the field to play I think the challenge now for Real Eagles. Tunuana in the last Clan Africa Championship match. I thought he might get a look in as the offside flag is up on the near side. That ambition, a disastrous blow. There's Marshall. Watching run in here. Nama. Right, ball delivered into the path of Parker. Can't squeeze it beyond the defense of. Royal Eagle side. An interesting battle against Spusaga and Dia Dia. I mean, for a goalkeeper to be playing in his 40s is one thing, but for an outfield player to be playing in his 40s and still scoring is. For uh, Northwest University previously, certainly most notably played under Wetsin Yerenda at Barocca, yes. before being released in December last year. Dear himself to the Kaiser Chiefs fans in his uh, first appearance. Five minutes or so to get into action. Biliat's return to action off the bench and a debut for the Indian international who's been much spoken about. Injury delayed his uh, potential debut. He's a midfielder and it's, uh, it's going to be difficult to. 
Should be two or three minutes of time added on here. As the Chiefs go in search of another. Down their far flank. Uh, just a little too far ahead. But uh, that was a hopeful appeal for something. Luha Manyama <laughs> might have scored the, uh, the goal, but it's <laughs> overly hot, but it's been very humid in Gauteng in recent times. It's certainly even flooding in areas of uh, Gauteng. This pitch is rather wet. I've seen moments that have uh, not have been. So to 90 minutes we go. And three minutes of time has been added on, says uh, fourth official Victor Shlungwane. In the final third, they are not confident enough to take those chances, create something out of whatever chance you get. <laughs> Oof, a little bit of crap coming in here. Nadia Mashal wearing the captain's armband since uh, the departure of captain on the day. Sanio, just looking at the watch, looking at the wrist to get that, that equaliser before the final whistle at the end of the 90. It's a, uh, a little miss, but landed awkwardly. He did a bit, won the Japanese Super Cup. But Yokohama F Marinos trailed three separate times, managed to come back, forced penalties, and then in a penalty shootout, the team's... And uh, Morbi missing for Stellenbosch, and then uh, Kutumela... Tim managing to miss for Pittsburgh United before they eventually advanced on penalties. Let himself to pay 10 buses to take his fans to a crucial playoff spot game. It's truth. Saw above them and reached the promised land. Get the two sides when they last met Grant on the last during the season. We recognize that on the 15th of September 2018, he, they drew 2 2. That was Except for Ramelele, or Ramele rather. Bring those quality crosses into the box. Now, this could be an opportunity. And it's, uh, it's cleared away, not particularly of the, of the season. You know you're on seven yellow cards and you pick up another, and now you're suspended for the first game of the playoffs. And yes, Mosevo is a, a good replacement. He's only started one game. Balls located in the center of the park with the TTM. The shower. They are really getting into it at the moment. Grant, today picking up the energy from traveling from Toyando all the way to Eteguin. Lovely take. Now a little you need the 12th player, and those 12th player is the fans. Both of these teams, their fans have been behind them from day one. That's why they find themselves in the playoff spot. They fill the stadiums in away and home games. Thanks to get up to to Vendor in the relative comfort of a car, I guess, uh, at, on a bus all the way. of lunch. When you take care of your fans and your players, you are distant to get results. Nicely nodded down drawing on the road and now they uh, have to chase this game they have to chase it remember in the round robin the mini league that we are facing you, if you win two and draw one you've got seven points that guarantees players will know what you are trying to do now you try to look for that extra expensive pass and then it lets you down so those are the small elements that show you why they find themselves in the playoffs and not the diamond system that royal eagles is playing having three in the in the middle i'm talking about Une and Ebaka and one before me that diamond system to allow the left back shazi and was able to attack the game for me we've seen them winning with a marginal score of 2-0 against Richards Bay last week and the week before that also just takes the edge off when they are able to score there's Taylor nice turn lovely turn opportunity here for Royal Eagles Zulu is just a year his his senior and was uh, spotted in is here the whole team and stuff to look at what Eagles can bring second picture Eagles know exactly what Marie Bay can bring so we see a situation where two ball is in your control you could have just easily picked out Bengu for a tapping in the in the back of the net rush of land to the head Grant
did as though he was going direct. Shaw will retrieve it. It's out. Toward Shaw. Shaw still driving forward. They're giving him space to run here. Off, offside all the time. They are defending with three. Causes, forcing Bojani to go and be a left wing so he can bring those FD lots. And remember this player, he was once used as a right back, just trying to convert him and give him game time. And when he came back, he started scoring once again. Very long time. Every time you mention Tomo Cosmos, uh, I have a, just a little small smile or a laugh because all these teams, we're talking about Stellenbosch, going to Cosmos. Side of your picture, you're absolutely right. Uh, the referee went over to Marciani and is saying, yeah, it's pretty much a nothing foul. There's not much in it, but it's still a foul and uh, you really need to tread cautiously now. And perhaps... Cape Town all the way to... KZN, Royal Eagles, he's contributed so much for the team. Don't forget him scoring against Whitbank to make sure that they still qualify for this playoff spot. And good. <laughs> Nicely done by Victor there. Bakar to make a point about the difference in the, uh, the partnership between these uh, two sides. Uh, a more settled partnership for Royal Eagles. Taylor having made 29 appearances. Outlet up front, he's come on for Tuli. He's all put up, just demanded and commanded for the ball. Well, having escaped that moment, TTM still have an opportunity to get Sati. They drew two all with the Royal Eagles and they beat Richards Bay on their own catch with uh, Mukhaka getting that goal. This kind of games, but we, we can put an MVP player, which is the most valuable player for this game. Yame has done very well. For me, Andy Lefit is all the day, crucifying him. He's not supposed to be there. Let them, they must push him forward. On the bench, so they still have options. That's not an effective cross. It from to that first pole. So for him, it was more like keeping the ball there. Trying to pick out Mbandla, who's now battling away to try and win it for TTM. Good pace shown by Marciani as he goes in pursuit. Chao lines up the, the goal kick here.